Hey guys, how's it going? It's Denim here again. Welcome back to the LS10 YouTube channel. We're here to do another skateboarding trick tip today. And today we're gonna have a little look at fakey big spins. So you're gonna wanna learn how to do your shove its first to get them really solid. And then fakey big spins shouldn't be too hard. Let's take a look at one and then let's get into it. So first of all, we want to be comfortable rolling in fakey for this one. So when we're rolling in fakey, that's essentially rolling backwards, but you're in your regular riding position. Best way to think of fakey is if you are rolling out of a ramp. So if you've rolled up a ramp and then back down, the position that you're in on the way back out of that ramp is fakey. So rolling backwards, regular position. Now the foot position for your big spin wants to be pretty similar to what it would be for a shove it really. So set up just like you would for a shove it and then that's about where you want to be. Um, I've known some people prefer to have the back foot kind of a bit more in the pocket on the tail, but if you're in a normal shove it position, that should be absolutely fine. Now a fakie big spin is essentially a 360 shove it with a 180 body burial going the same way, okay? So don't worry too much about spinning a full 360 shove it. You can kind of spin a 180 or a, or a sort of 270 and then catch the last bit in a pivot to help get you around. So we wanna be rolling in fakey at a moderate speed. So not too fast when you're learning these, but also not so slow that you can't get the momentum for the spin. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna wind your arms up a little bit. As we've said before in a few of these videos, wherever your arms are going and your shoulders are going, your hips turn with it and then your feet will follow, okay? So when you're winding up, give them a good wind up so that you can release them the direction in which you're going. So gonna wind up, we're gonna pop that shove it, and then we're gonna keep following the board with our body, right? Only for the first 180. So as you're watching the board complete its shove it, you're getting ready to catch it back on the kicktail to pivot it around. Now you don't need to pop it massively high. So with big spins, you can almost just kind of skid them off the floor when you're learning, same as you would with a shove it. So just keep practicing those first before you start getting into a bigger pop on them. Cool, so there's a couple of things that can go wrong with this one. Sometimes what you might find is that the board flies out away from you. Uh, generally, that might be that you're putting a bit too much focus on the shove it there, okay? The shove it has to be, you know, reasonably forceful, but not too much. You can actually do it fairly slight, so you don't have to pop it massively high or anything like that. Another thing you might find is that you may be not winding your arms up enough. You need to wind them up to release them to be able to follow the board around, okay? So if you're struggling, try that first. Try winding up a bit more and releasing a bit harder and focus a little bit less on the shove it so that you're not booting it miles away. Rad, okay, so that's pretty much it for big spins, to be honest. Um, they are a little bit trickier than some of the other tricks we've covered, so it might take you a little while to get your head around it. Make sure you're comfortable rolling in fakey, that's going to really help. And if you're really struggling, just go back to working on your shove its and get those figured out a little bit as well. Best of luck, if you enjoyed this video, share it around to anyone who you think might be keen. Drop us a message in the comments, let us know what tricks you want to see next, and we'll see you soon for another trick tip. Cheers guys, take care, bye bye. Bye.